Our next contestant is Duncan Sandy. The question is, is it better to be happy or smart? Is it better to be happy or smart, Duncan Sandy? Hmm. That's definitely an interesting question, particularly at this current time in our society. Whether you want to be happy or do you want to be smart. I mean, there's two schools of thought. On one side, you've got the people who can go through life not worrying about all the big issues that seem to happen, or they do worry about the big issues that are going on. Elections, immigration, COVID. And they pick a side, and they pick a side early. They pick their team, and they know what they're going to be on. Whether it be Trump or Biden, whether you're going to be on COVID as a government conspiracy theory or not, these people, in my opinion, seem to be happy. The people that pick a side early choose whether or not that's based on rational information or not, often it isn't, seem to be much more easygoing in their own lives. But it comes at a cost to the rest of society. On the other side, you have the smart people, the rational, critical thinkers, which I like to think of myself being one foot firmly in that camp. The rational thinker, someone who wants all of the evidence to be gathered up, robustly analyzed by teams of analysts, the media, sifting through all of this data and information to come to a conclusion whether COVID is in fact a disease caused by living in the life or whether one side of politics is better than other based on hard policies and facts. Whether or not I'd rather be happy or smart, my answer is firmly I would rather be the smart one, the critical thinker, the one who's able to evaluate things and on balance choose the option that seems the best for me. Back to you.